right? So that could be able to approve or check positive for screen, right? So, you know, well, for the you not under, under, a wise, but understand what the, what the, where, what the, where of the Lord is, right? Because the where of the Lord, what he teaches is a perfect is the peace of the gospel, right? The dead and the elect, okay? To, you know, have the elect, he said, for Yahweh Shai for Yahweh Shai to return by the destruction, okay? That's the will of the Lord, okay? And be not drunk with wine, for in, in the senses, but filled with spirit, okay? He's not supposed to be drunk with wine. You know, we know you, you have the days where you can, you know, just, you know, drink a lot of wine, you know, to cool off, but we're not supposed to be drunk with wine. Care of this work well like that, okay? You gotta be filled with spirit. Okay. Speaking to yourselves in songs and hymns and spiritual songs, singing and making melody in your heart to the Lord. Okay, and that goes that you are praying, right? You know, you know, studying, okay, doing doing what pleasing to Yahweh Okay. Alright, so the second And he said unto me, My grace is sufficient for thee. Okay? Yeah, my grace is sufficient for us. For my strength is made perfect in perfect in weakness. Okay? This is going back to a heart, you know, we're going to go trials and tribulations. You know, we are made perfect. You know, when we are going through, you know, our, uh, when we are, when we are, when we are made to, right? You know, when we are, you know, when we have infirmities, we have to deal with. We are made, we are, are, we are made strong. Most gladly, therefore, will I rather glory in my infirmities that the power of Hamashiach may rest upon me. Okay? Tenth verse, therefore I take pleasure in in infirmities and reproaches and necess necessities and persecutions and distresses for Mashiach's sake. So we're going to work at the word infirmities. Okay. Um, and the rule of the Bible means um, to understand a thing, to do things great and glorious, to restrain corrupt desires, to bear trials and troubles, okay? You know, we take pleasures in, you know, restraining our corrupt desires, you know, the cares of this world. You know, we take pleasures when we, you know, when bearing our trials and tribulations. We don't complain. You know, we can't complain when we're going our trials and tribulations because it's good to make us strong, okay? You know, I'm speaking to myself for, for, for the summer. You can complain, right? We have to bear our trials and tribulations, okay? You know, we have to, to take pleasures and, you know, restrain our core desires because we know that if, if we don't, we're going to, we're going to, you know, have a negative impact on us, right? So we had to, you know, we had to um, keep bearing, you know, keep in redeeming, redeeming. I would, I would, I, the word redeeming, you know, this goes back to to make wise and sacred use of every opportunity for doing good, right? So we had to make, we had to make of every opportunity of doing good, right? Of of, of living gracefully, or in a, living in a pleasing life. You know, inside a Hamashashka. Okay. And that verse, I have become a fool in glorifying you. You have compelled me. For I ought to have been commended of you, for in nothing am I behind the very chiefest apostles, though I be, be nothing. Okay, so the point was in the 10th verse. I'm going to go to, you know, Matthews and Matthew Watson. The 20th verse and the 14th, it goes back, it goes, goes into the 
Kali circle, you know, the whole point, the, the point here is, you know, because we're doing it at a time, we're doing it at a time, you know, we are, you know, we are using every talent that Yahweh has to do was to push the ministry, right, to push the word and to have the lead be filled. Okay, then we have the instruction come, when we have lead, you know, one of the okay, it still, the instruction will come. Okay, um, uh, let me see where I'm going to start. I'm going to start the 15 verse, Matthew 25 verse 14, and we come up to one of the few days, so this is talking about the master, okay? The master day, and up to one of the few days, five talents, to another two, and to another one. To every man according to his several ability, and straight away took his journey. Okay, so his servant, you know, what his master gave to his servant, everyone according to his ability, right? According to what he was capable of doing. Okay, and this truth. Okay, sister work. Then he that have received the five talents went and traded with the same and made them other five talents. Okay. So this now this servant who you know who who went and spent his talents, you know, he you know, he he got, you know, basically that the five talents that he, you know, he received, he went and did something with it, okay? He 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 went and um you know, he he, he ultimately invested, right, in those talents and he received five more talents. Okay, so the money was was, was representing this word. Okay, you know, he you know he got you know he basically got you know and, and also goes back to business and marriage as well. You know, building you know building you know those those alleged right. Um, and likewise, he that had received two, he also gave of the two. But he that received one went and dig in the earth and hid his Lord's money. Okay, so this servant, you know, he he received one talent, but he dig and went and dig in the earth and hid his Lord's money, which represents this word. Okay, this knowledge he received. Okay, he, he his servant, the master gave his servant. You know, according to what he was capable of handling, and he went and did, he hid the Lord's money. He hid the Lord's, he hid, you know, for something that he hid the word, he hid the words of the Lord. You know, he didn't go out and did for the marriage, you know. He didn't invest it in the, in the, um, in the talent that he had. Okay, so let me get Second Timothy two and one. Okay, because we all go back to again, the season five and sixteen. We're doing the time, you know, making making most of every opportunity that we have because it's true, you know, preaching, you know, you know, teaching, studying, you know. Making use of your talents that the Lord invested in your talent that the talents talents this word that the Lord um has you know freely given us, okay? This truth. Okay, second Timothy chapter two, verse one to read, Thou therefore thy son be strong in the grace that is the Hamashia Yahweshah. And the things that thou hast heard of me among many witnesses. The same can look out to say to the man who should be able to teach others also. Okay? So we're supposed to be teaching others also. You know, we are, be, we are being built in the spirit to teach others also. Okay? This is going back to the beginning of time. You know, to know teaching. Okay? That thou for endure hardness as a good soldier, how shall have a Okay, so he has been doing hardness as a good soldier in this truth. You know, no man that war, war, and taking 
continued in saying the affairs of this life that he may please him who have chosen him to be a soldier. Okay, you can't please if we are so busy, you know, if we if we if we did our talent, you know, we have this okay, if we get this truth, right? This truth that we be given to us, right? And we go be like that victim servant that here's your talent, here's his, his, his word, you know, which represents he did he's hiding this word in dirt, right? Oh, yeah, my son, he might be crazy with us when he returns, okay? You know, he's not gonna he's not gonna, you know, say that good good about things to serve it, right? You know, he's not gonna give us a reward, right? Because he hid his talent. He's a you know, we were so you know, we can't be so caught up in cares of this world, you know, trying to make you in this world, okay? Trying to, you know, be, you know, because it's all flesh, right? It's all it's just our core desire. It's just our flesh wants to, you know, go after those words and but that's not our whole purpose. That's not the will of the Lord. Okay. Understand what the will of the Lord is, right? You have to understand what the will of the Lord is for our life. Okay. I'm gonna read that again. I'm gonna read the MLT. No one serving as a soldier gets entangled in a civilian affairs, but rather tries to please his commanding officer. Okay, so our commanding officer in Yahusha. Okay, uh, well, you know, that he's our basically, you know, he's just our, you know, Yahusha, Yahusha, you know. Uh, right, so that's the whole point, right? In Ephesians chapter 5, you know. Ephesians chapter 5, verse 16. Redeem your time because the days are evil, and you have to make the most of, of every opportunity because the days are evil. So you have to make the most of every opportunity that we have on this earth. Okay? That we're redeeming, which means to make wise and sacred use of every opportunity for going good, so that we will, and we are doing our as it were, we purchases, purchase money. By which we make the time our own. So we're supposed to be investing in the money, right? In this word, okay? We're supposed to be keeping this word, you know? Okay? So we're supposed to be storing our treasures in heaven, okay? Right? Before that destruction comes, right? Before that, that grace, you know, is about to, before that grace is, you know, about to be. You know, before that grace is shut off, right? You know, we are still in that grace period, but we, that grace period has only been, you know, it's about, it's about to hit zero, okay? You know, so I want to end that, if y'all want to end it here, but you are on the road to see how much I'm going to come back. And that sounds so, so wrong.